Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Behind us is the new Škoda Kodiak facelift. We're gonna ch check the uh, details on this one, what's new. And we're on Zurich Auto Show. If you wanna see more, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Hi everyone, uh, here's the first look of the new Kodiak uh, facelift. Uh, so let's check what's new. We have a new, a little bit meaner LED daytime running lights uh, that I believe should be Matrix now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, looking pretty good fresh we have some air tunneling on the sides nice big real intake on the uh, top and the bottom uh, and we have a nice uh, lip for if you're going off-roading have the radar beneath the badge a uh, little chrome uh, there and nice plastics here so this is also plastic if you're going off-roading uh, that's quite nice new LED lights uh, lens here projectors and fog on the bottom so she got a crystal lightning or lighting um, so this is the clever package uh, I believe this is something for the Swiss market we are in Swiss Zurich Auto Show we have uh, chrome roof racks uh, window surroundings uh, looking at the rear new LED taillights kind of changed have dynamic turn signals finally and also uh, kind of odd diffuser that looks like an exhaust but it isn't um, and it is what it is but uh, it's fresh it looks new electronic so opens a nice and tall so loads of space nice and flat uh, especially if you're camping and uh, let's check here so loads of space as you can see there now this does actually go outside so you can see there's a additional space here and it also kind of folds that way so you can see here now that is loads of space yeah uh, so let me put this back into position so even over there you can see loads of space and it feels like you can push this one huh you can do that as well look at that so that's pretty practical if you need extra space in that area now probably a little difficult but actually it's not that difficult I did it with one hand LED light both ends to the points you can put a fire extinguisher here or first aid uh, you can extend the towing hook you can pop the seats from the rear 12 volt outlet uh, some hooks kind of smart you can adjust them where you need them let's just pop this one uh, you can push it down with a hand uh, have some area here and uh, also this is nice and deep on the side there you can close this up and then you can press here and just slides open press on the top close it up Now there's a VRS, we're gonna cover it in a separated video. Uh, coming here, gorgeous alloys I gotta add. So these are 235.50R19, I like the design. And uh, also what I forgot to mention, you have a nice protection on the arches all the way, so if you're going off-roading, practical. Good opening and closing sound, the doors go all the way down, so if you're washing the car, no water residue. Uh, rear doors open very wide so if you need to put a child seat it's very easy push this down it locks into place so you can see here uh, this is almost flat you can actually sleep in the car I believe it's so roomy and uh, we'll kind of lock the seats and the little strap is tucked in there so there we go here push it up un unlocks it you just push it up kind of hard do it when it one hand uh, no seatbelt holder, uh, but in the 7 version uh, of that car you had it. But you do have the little ear there. And um, so the doors, hard plastic still, but this is soft. Leather, some contrast stitching, nice and sturdy. Uh, this is some sort of pattern, looks nice. And you have nice long ambient lights, kind of finely. Uh, and on the rear, uh, some carpeting here, quite nice have cloth seats interesting textile 
very nice and soft. Let's hop inside. So we have uh, color ambient lights, loads of room for my feet, for our knees. Close it up, good closing sound. Although I didn't bump it too hard. Uh, we'll start uh, area here, AC controls, 12 volt outlet, and uh, fairly tall, but kind of narrow transmission tunnel. So I think you could actually squeeze a third person on the rear. It's kind of soft here. This is more stiffer, but manageable. Uh, two, cup, three cup holders there. Nice rubber mat on the bottom. And the seats are nice and wide. So sometimes I don't like the cloth, but uh, you know, in winter it's a nice, or uh, for maybe taxiing. Now you could lean the seats backward and you can slide them back and forward. Um, loads of space. So just to show you here, two meter tall person um, with no sunroof, loads of space for my head. So this is all the way back, nice and easy. And then you can upright position, same. Uh, approved for two meter tall person. I don't really relax here filming all day, so smash the like button for the effort. A um, lot of work, and here uh, handles all four sides. You have hooks there, a B pillar as well. Seat belt and the front is adjustable. You have these nice physical buttons instead of those pesky touch buttons. Uh, let's get to the front. Uh, and the seals I'm at, at Skoda did a little change there. It looks very good, and of course you can lock here for the kids from the inside, uh, for the safety. Nice big mirrors, I believe you can get a 360 camera, blind spot warning, uh, maybe here or on the side there. Kind of forgot from the top of my head. Skoda on the bottom, nice illumination, soft on the front. This flashes red when the car is locked. Some contrast stitching when white, uh, nice leather. Again, nice big ambient lights. Speaker here, uh, the VRs had a chrome surrounding it. I think I prefer this black, to be honest. And over here, nice speaker. You can pop the rear and close from the driver position. You can lock the rear, all power windows, automatic, folding and heating standard, Kodiak. Tire pressure information is in the fuel cap. Manual seats up and down. Push that one up to slide back and forward. Tilt, lumbar support. Not big bolsters, but they look comfy. Automatic. Uh, light switch, you should put it automatic. This is just for the car show. Um, now I'll have to disappoint you, you don't have the key. So um, this is all you can see for the digital cockpit, but it's uh, the same, so no changes there. Um, two spoke steering wheel, also no changes there. The last version actually got it in a model year change before the facelift. What is new, or I think it is new, I kind of forgot now, uh, is the double stitching here. The rest looks the same, zooming back in, but just to check some details for those of you who are interested. Kind of a new camera, iPhone 13 Pro, kind of uh, three cameras now, some autofocus, uh, weird things going on, sorry for that. Um, not a huge fan of this, but I don't mind it. Um, yeah, pr probably one of my favorite steering wheels, but probably would prefer with the three spoke. Uh, sport paddles, still classical uh, levers for the turn signal slides and uh, wipers and so on. Uh, nice soft dash on the top, nice speaker. All of these are the same speakers, I mean, excuse me, basic speakers uh, in the RS. They were Harman and Gardner, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I prefer this screen instead of the one in the RS version because um, this is the Amundsen instead of the Columbus where you have these actual physical knobs. And let's see if we can turn it on. Starts out. Oh, there we go. On the bottom still physical AC controls. Fortunately, no ventilated seats. Um, some shortcuts on the bottom. DSG. I will drive press here. Little piano black on the bottom. Um, not too terrible, not too great. Wireless charger, 12 volt outlet, two USB Cs. Um, I guess um, menu. This is in German. I haven't translated our moved the language. 
navigation, but it's basically the same. So let's just skip that. Again, I'll look to this cloth seats. Okay, um, nice rubbery here, spacious uh, glove compartment on the top uh, and the bottom. Uh, all of this is a little bit plastic. You have coins there, pen and business cards. You have uh, cool here, you have drinks, uh, no SD cards. And there's the navigation. Kind of looks small, it's like a big screen, but then uh, it just has a big basil. Kind of disappointing. And over here, uh, put a Coca Cola bottle on, move the cap so the bottle doesn't spin. That's what this dot's for. Key holder, something else. I have no idea what's for. Coins and uh, business cards, maybe parking cards. And you can flip this over if you want. So this is nice and big. If you want, you can just add that and. This extends, it has levels, so perfect. Uh, and have some pockets here, family car, uh, full of smart, slimly clever features. Um, mirror, good overview on the rear. Um, and over here, uh, light uh, roof. The other car was dark, uh, at least an uh, RS or the sport line. Um, emergency buttons there, and a nice big Privacy mirror, or she love this shade. Um, LED light turns on. Documents colder. Uh, this unfortunately doesn't extend to this area, so uh, maybe in the future. <clears throat> All I think they could have added by now. And two meter tall person uh, on the front, lots of space. Uh, this is a Skoda car, so uh, that's the, one of the main features. And a good overview, of course, uh, if you are in an SUV, feel safer, have a nice long hood. Good big mirrors. There's your blind spot. And what a warning for us. I think I didn't miss anything. Uh, let's just jump on the front, uh, pop the hood, and a little projectors there, but uh, no lights. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna cover the specs after the hood. Uh, below the bash, push it to the left. There you go. And have a gust rod. So. Uh, what's nice is you don't have to lift it up. You probably won't spend too much time looking at your engine bay, but this is a four cylinder. Uh, haven't really honestly looked at the spec. It's probably petrol now instead of diesel, but sometimes SUVs are more diesel. Uh, nice uh, washer fluid cover so you don't spill anything. You just close it up. And the hood closes perfectly. Just let it drop. Maybe noisy, but closes perfectly. Let's see the spec. So, uh, 190 horsepower, four-cylinder TSI petrol, as I've predicted, or benzene, same in Croatian and Swiss, I guess. Probably Deutsch, uh, this is all in Deutsch, we're in Zurich, Switzerland, as mentioned. Uh, probably cereal stuff and maybe some options, so there you go, 190 horsepower, all-wheel drive. So, tell me in the comments below, how do you like the new Kodiak? facelift and uh, some people were asking me when you're gonna film the video I wanted to film it in the salon but uh, there we go I think this is better so smash the thumbs up for the effort and uh, tell me in the comments below how do you like the new Kodiak facelift so thank you for watching vehicle person again smash the like button leave your comments below how do you like the new Kodiak facelift and I'm gonna see you in the next one if you want to see more content from the Zurich Auto Show subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when I upload those new videos I'll see you in the next one as mentioned and stay safe as always. Bye.